Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Rainier ruined my last video. It is Tuesday, April 9th, 11.14 a.m. So that means it's still morning. I am in Granite Falls at our um, property um, in our travel trailer. I have had the most interesting month and definitely the most interesting week. Let's just put it that way. Um, so if you have been following me, you know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. I left a job in Washington and took a job in Oregon March 1st. And I was let go from that job in Oregon Wednesday of last week. It was my last day. It was sudden. There was no rational reason for letting me go. And I did not feel the need to fight it or argue it because I did not feel like it was the right place for me. Um, there was a lot of shit going on that was unethical. And I was starting to unravel a lot of shit that I did not want to be a part of. And when trying to fix the shit, it was not welcome. So I was not allowed to learn my job or to even do my job. Um, apparently, my position wasn't welcome in the first place okay and they just did it because they felt like they had to and based on some shit that went down before I even got there so shit was really messy and uncomfortable and people were like talking behind each other's backs and gossiping and some people were telling me the whole truth the story and other people were being really quiet and weird and not wanting to talk to me it was just a really, really weird situation that I stepped into. And because I am a truth teller <laughs> and I'm an honest person, um, I was asking legitimate questions. And because there were no real reasons or answers to these questions, I feel like they felt threatened by me. I wasn't going to go along with the game or the lies or whatever the fuck they were doing. And I feel like that's why I was let go. And if telling the truth and being honest lets me go from a place that's dishonest, then I'm okay with that. I'm not going to fight that. So with that said, we were like... <laughs> a week or two from closing on this house that we wanted to buy and because I lost my job we no longer qualify to get the home and that has been a frustrating process also because the realtor and the lender don't seem to understand or want to let us back out they keep trying to convince us to stick it out and I'm like, hey, I don't have a job. <laughs> like, um, trying to convince us to like, try to convince the seller to extend the time by 20 days. And I'm not sure if they have looked for a job lately, but it definitely takes longer than 20 days to find a job. So, Um, so it's been a week of them kind of getting pissed off with us 
for not following through because they've wasted so much of their time and they're not gonna get paid for it now if we don't buy the home, but we can't, you know? <laughs> like The um, bank loan officer's like, great, you don't have a job, let's close this loan. And the lender and the realtor are like, wait, 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 we're trying to figure something out. And then like, figure what out? I don't have a job. And they're asking, well, can you get a cosigner? No, we can't. We don't come from wealthy families. We come from poor families, okay? And we're doing this on our own. We don't have anyone that can help us, so no. Um, and the best thing for us right now is to not buy a home. <laughs> It, it, it sounded like a great idea at the time when I had the job and we were making the changes and things were going smoothly. And then suddenly, like, wow, you know, from the fourth on, like, you know, it's crazy. I've been reading and about and learning about and watching videos about the 4424 portal and healing and ridding of negative energies and pushing you on to positive paths and shit's been like a whirlwind the, like the last four days and i realized that it is just getting rid of negative energy in my life now weird how I left one area, went to another one, and found more negative energy. <laughs> uh, that wasn't fun. But it did help me to let go of some things that I needed to let go of. And we are still moving out of this property. And luckily, we do have some family that has property. We're just going to go park our RV on that property and see how things go you know it's not like we're not gonna have a place to live we live in a travel trailer so we can take it wherever we want and that's what we're gonna do for a while and I'm okay with that too like that feels like more um a better path to take than to continue to buy a home not having a fucking job. I don't know what those two are thinking, but I'm not gonna go from like the option of paying zero for rent without having a job to paying $3,600 a month for rent not having a job. Like even on unemployment, I wouldn't be able to afford that. Like, but obviously, the realtor and the lender are not thinking about us. They're thinking about how they're going to get paid. Um, and that's really unfortunate because it really takes the humanity out of people. You know, they really tr show their true selves when it comes to money. I've always known that money is a way of knowing who your friends are and who's not. Like, it's really blinding to some people. So... We're probably not going to use that realtor, that lender again, because they're probably not going to want to work with us <laughs> for backing out of this deal. It sucks because the property was cute and would have been perfect for us, but I don't think it is only because the universe isn't allowing it. Like I got to listen to that, right? If it was meant to be and it was perfect for us then it would be happening and it's not so i have no idea where the world is taking me right now and i'm okay with that i'm totally okay with that i'm okay with not stressing out about buying a house or working that job that paid a lot of money that was very unethical um, 
I'm kind of on the verge of um, being motivated enough, frustrated enough, however you want to put that, to start my own business, start something. It might be time for my husband and I to start our own thing. So we'll see where this life goes. I have no fucking idea.